Welcome to my beginning English class. I'm your instructor, Richard Campbell. I hope you find these lessons helpful. Thank you for watching. This is lesson 21 in my Learn Beginning English class series. This lesson has more practice with prepositions of place and prepositions of time with more verb tense practice. Where are they sitting? They are sitting on the bench in the park. Or they are sitting on the park bench. Where is the girl sitting? She is sitting next to the boy. Where's the boy sitting? He is sitting beside the girl. Who is sitting next to the boy? The girl is. Who is sitting beside the girl? The boy is. Who is the boy sitting next to? The girl. Who is the girl sitting beside? The boy. The boy is sitting next to the girl on the bench in the park. Or, the boy is sitting beside the girl on the park bench. Present continuous tense. The girl sat next to the boy on the bench in the park yesterday. The girl sat beside the boy on the park bench yesterday. Past tense. They sit together on the bench in the park every day. Or they sit together on the park bench every day. Present tense. They are going to sit next to each other on the bench in the park tomorrow. Or they will sit beside each other on the park bench tomorrow. Here's the answer. The girl did. What's the question? Who sat next to the boy on the bench in the park yesterday? The question? Who sat beside the boy on the park bench yesterday? The answer, every day. What's the question? When do they sit together on the bench in the park? The question? When do they sit together on the park bench? The answer, beside each other. The question? Where will they sit on the park bench tomorrow? 
the answer next to each other. The question? Where are they going to sit on the bench in the park tomorrow? The answer, on the bench in the park. The question? Where is the boy sitting next to the girl? The answer, on the park bench. The question? Where is the boy sitting beside the girl? The answer, they do. The question? Who sits together on the bench in the park every day? The question? Who sits together on the park bench every day? The answer, the boy. The question? Who did the girl sit next to on the bench in the park yesterday? The question? Who did the girl sit beside on the park bench yesterday? The answer, tomorrow. Question? When are they going to sit next to each other on the bench in the park? The question, when will they sit beside each other on the park bench? On the park bench is the answer. What's the question? Where do they sit together every day on the bench in the park the question where do they sit together every day the boy is the question Who is sitting next to the girl on the bench in the park? The question. Who is sitting beside the girl on the park bench? On the bench in the park. The question. Where did the girl sit next to the boy yesterday? On the park bench. The question. Where did the girl sit beside the boy yesterday? The answer, the girl. The question, who is the boy sitting next to on the bench in the park? The question, who is the boy sitting beside on the park bench? They are. 
Question? Who is going to sit next to each other on the bench in the park tomorrow? The question? Who will sit beside each other on the park bench tomorrow? Next to the girl. The question? Where is the boy sitting on the bench in the park? Beside the girl. The question? Where is the boy sitting on the park bench? On the bench in the park. The question? Where are they going to sit next to each other tomorrow? On the park bench. The question. Where will they sit beside each other tomorrow? Next to the boy. The question. Where did the girl sit on the bench in the park yesterday? Beside the boy. The question. Where did the girl sit on the park bench yesterday? On the bench in the park. The answer, what's the question? Where do they sit together every day? Yesterday, the question. When did the girl sit next to the boy on the bench in the park? The question, when did the girl sit beside the boy on the park bench? Ride is an irregular verb. The past tense is rode. What are they doing? They are riding a horse. Who is riding a horse? They are. Where are they riding a horse? They are riding a horse in the park. Where is the woman sitting? She is sitting behind the man. Where is the man sitting? He is sitting in front of the woman. The man is. What's the question? Who is sitting in front of the woman? The answer, the woman. The question? Who is the man sitting in front of? 
the woman is. The question? Who is sitting behind the man? The man. Question? Who is the woman sitting in back of? Or who is the woman sitting behind? The man did. The question? Who sat in front of the woman? The answer, the woman. Who did the man sit in front of? The woman did. The question? Who sat behind the man? The man. The question? Who did the woman sit in back of? The man and woman rode a horse in the park yesterday. The man rode in front of the woman on the horse. The woman sat in back of the man on the horse. They will ride a horse to the park next Saturday. The answer, yesterday. The question? When did the man and woman ride a horse in the park? The man and woman did. The question? Who rode a horse in the park yesterday? A horse. The question? What? Did the man and woman ride in the park yesterday? In the park. Question. Where did the man and woman ride a horse yesterday? The man did. The question. Who rode in front of the woman on the horse? The answer, the woman. The question. Who did the man ride in front of on the horse? The woman did. The question. Who sat in back of the man on the horse? The man. Question. Who did the woman sit in back of on the horse? They will. The question. Who will ride a horse to the park 
next Saturday. Next Saturday. The question? When will they ride a horse to the park? To the park. The question? Where will they ride a horse next Saturday? The answer, they will ride a horse. The question is how? How will they go to the park next Saturday? Present continuous, question and answer. What? Answer, a motorcycle. What are they riding? The answer? They are riding a motorcycle. Question and answer. Behind the man. Question? Where is the woman sitting? The answer? She is sitting behind the man. The woman is. Question. Who is sitting behind the man? The man. The question. Who is the woman sitting behind? The answer? She is sitting behind the man. Past tense. What? A motorcycle. Question? What did they ride? The answer? They rode a motorcycle. The question? Where did the woman sit? The answer? She sat behind the man. The question? Who sat behind the man? The answer, the man. The question? Who did the woman sit behind? The answer? She sat behind the man. Prepositions of time. A preposition of time answers a when question. There are about 19 prepositions of time. Many of the prepositions of place 
are also used as prepositions of time. For example, at is a preposition of place, but it is also a preposition of time. At is used with specific clock time, for example, at 12 o'clock. In is a preposition of place, but it's also used as a preposition of time. In is used to explain a length of time, for example, in one hour. On is also a preposition of place, but it is also a preposition of time. On is used with specific days or dates, on Monday, on the 10th. Prepositions of time, at. A preposition of time answers a when question. So they are used in past, present, and future tense. He ate dinner at a restaurant at six o'clock. Where did he eat dinner? What's the preposition of place? At, at a restaurant. When did he eat dinner? Preposition of time. At six o'clock. Who ate dinner at a restaurant at six o'clock? He did. What did he eat at a restaurant at six o'clock? Dinner. Prepositions of time, at. They eat dinner at home at seven o'clock every night. Where do they eat dinner? Preposition of place. At home. When do they eat dinner? Preposition of time. At seven o'clock. What's the question? Who eats dinner at home at seven o'clock? What's the question? What do they eat at home at seven o'clock? I will eat breakfast at home at 6.30. Where will you eat breakfast? Preposition of place. At home. When will you eat breakfast? Preposition of time. At 6.30. Prepositions of time in. The preposition in is for a length of time, so it is used in the future tense. What time is it? It is five o'clock. What time will they eat dinner? They will eat dinner at six o'clock. They will eat dinner in one hour. 
in is the preposition of time for length of time. When will they eat dinner? Preposition of time at six o'clock. Preposition of time in one hour. Prepositions of time in. She is going to go to Seattle in three days. Where is she going to go in three days? Preposition of place to Seattle. When is she going to go to Seattle? Preposition of time in three days. They will move to New York in five months. Where will they move in five months? Preposition of place to New York. When will they move to New York? Preposition of time in five months. Prepositions of time, future, on, for, and next. I will make dinner at home in the kitchen on Sunday. Where will you make dinner on Sunday? Preposition of place. At home. Preposition of place. In the kitchen. When will you make dinner at home in the kitchen? Preposition of time. On Sunday. He will bake a turkey in the oven for four hours next Sunday. Where will he bake a turkey next Sunday? Preposition of place. In the oven. When will he bake a turkey in the oven? Preposition of time. Next Sunday. How long will he bake a turkey in the oven next Sunday? Preposition length of time. For four hours. How long will he bake a turkey in the oven next Sunday? For four hours. More prepositions. Present continuous. He is looking through a telescope across the water at the birds. He is jumping into the water. He is pointing towards the man in the boat. Look, jump, and point are regular verbs. Change the sentences to the past tense. He is looking through a telescope across the water at the birds. Change that to past tense.
he looked through a telescope across the water at the birds. He is jumping into the water. Change to past tense. He jumped into the water. He is pointing towards the man in the boat. The past tense. He pointed towards the man in the boat. Play, stop, and start are regular verbs. Begin is an irregular verb. The past tense is began. They played baseball from six o'clock to eight o'clock. What time did they start? They started at six o'clock. What time did they begin? They began at six o'clock. What time did they stop? They stopped at eight o'clock. When did they play baseball until? They played until eight o'clock. How long did they play baseball? They played for two hours. This is the end of lesson 21 of my beginning English class series. I hope you found this lesson helpful. Thank you for watching. Your instructor, Richard Campbell.